Hi, my name's Louise Beard and I'd like you to welcome to another module in the NZC and Tourism webinar series. Um, this program is focused on building value to and from the China FIT market, um, which is the independent um, travellers who are travelling to New Zealand on holiday. It is part of a larger program um, that has been sponsored by the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment, MB. And this program can be found at our website nzcntourism.co.nz. There you'll find fuller reports, full um, unabridged modules, top tips and links to a social media program including Facebook, Twitter and WeChat. Um, if you have been to our website before, do feel free to go back. It's being updated um, and the social media program also is changing um, as time goes by. Um, module 3 so is specifically we're going to talk uh, about the stories of, and the importance of connection, actually getting our how to build a compelling story, story. we've got some examples, um, we review the New Zealand story and how our regional and seasonal stories can fit underneath that, and then briefly the role of imagery and storytelling and developing our own stories, so we've got some tools there at the end that you can use to help. So why is uh, the story so important? We are getting from China very sophisticated travellers with lots of different options and in order to actually want to come to New Zealand but also to come to our region, our place and um, take part in our activities, they've really got to feel inspired and that's around connecting with our what story. It's not just what, um, which is what we've got, nature, wildlife, adventure, but those things can be had in many different places. What's really important is that we develop our why stories, which is why is it special, different, inter interesting, unique and must do. And the why stories are generally quite emotive and they're inspiring and it gets people to think, yes, I would really love to be a part of that. When exploring options for the China FIT visitor, the story is central and a lot of our stories are being told and people are being inspired by online social media storytelling by others. And what they're looking for is what is the must do? Why will this deliver a great experience for me? Um, what can I tell others and what will I experience? Um, and being able to tell others and share for Chinese independent visitors is really important. And as you can see here in these couple of examples um, of social media posts um, in China, this is the kind of story that they're telling. Very visual, um, sort of some key top reasons why. Emotion around storytelling is what absolutely wins and that's what persuades people to really want to participate. So. If our stories are working, they connect on an emotional level and they touch the heart. Stories also ideally will provide um, and deliver a real unique sense of who you are, what is special and unique about the experience that you're delivering and have on offer. And a great story uh, really touches us and meets a need, it's evocative and it shifts thinking and then behaviour. So where do we start with our storytelling? One of the things that I think is key is that our stories, we often don't tell them in a way that we distinguish, um, you know, what often are very ordinary, which can be extraordinary to Chinese. New Zealand is very attractive because the Chinese are coming from a world that is very different. It's very busy, um, very um, densely populated, generally um, polluted and there's a lot of pressure and constantly the visitors that we've talked to talked about wanting to get away from that pressure and stress and experience nature in almost its original state, get fully involved and have a calm, easy, relaxing and safe time. And telling stories big and small about our place, our world and our experiences creates that connection. You can see here some examples of, again, social media um, postings that illustrate how our very ordinary is often their extraordinary. And the photograph on the left of the stars, someone in a tent at a camping ground, almost being able to touch the stars is truly extraordinary. 
in many parts of the world, not just in China, but in the nor Northern Hemisphere particularly, there are many people who have never actually seen the night sky um, and stars in the sky because the levels of pollution are so great um, that that's a vista that they, and not just um, air pollution, but also light pollution. So it's just something that is not possible to see. And even though they might see some stars, they certainly can't see the Milky Way. And a beach as beautiful as that with no other people and being able to actually get up and close to animals is very, very unusual. So where do we start with our storytelling? Um, depending on where you're coming from, um, the most important thing is really how do you relate to others as well as how are you unique. And in New Zealand, the 100% pure, everything close, every day a different journey um, that has been promoted by Tourism New Zealand on nz.com and in other places is highly compelling. And one of the first things to do is to think how does our story fit in under that very, very, very relevant proposition. Then ideally um, a number of regions will cluster together and explain their unique story and their unique angle on that and what is um, their differentiated uh, proposition. Then regions will come in under that explaining and inspiring about what's special in your region and what's, um, what's the unique experience. Um, product alliances or groups of operators within a region ideally will then reinforce that story in their own unique way and then one business provider or product experience tells their own story but again in the context of everyone else's. If we work together in this way um, we absolutely build on what's relevant for the Chinese and I would suggest other visitors but also um, make sure and have a story that actually is really relevant. So the New Zealand 100% pure and the everything close every day a different journey is a really important part of the activation and we need to think about how do we deliver that and what is our unique angle. Fresh vibrancy of untouched nature is probably always an impart, um, a key part of what we are delivering and how do we access that, but also everything close. Our Chinese visitors absolutely want what, what they have described as a zero distance immersion experience and that means absolutely being up close um, and feeling, seeing, touching, doing, tasting and being able to share those quite transformative experiences, things that they haven't done or experienced before. One thing that's really important to make sure that our stories are compelling is that there is an element of dramatic intensity in them. What is it that makes it special and unique? Um, if we don't have that, then our natural experiences and um, blue skies can get a little bit boring after a few days. The higher that we go into the premium market, the more the dramatic intensity is particularly important. Um, experiences that indulge in that intensity of the untouched um, is, ex is particularly important at that premium area. Not only in the actual storytelling and the promise of those experiences, but in the way that we visualise um, those. There needs to be drama in the imagery as well. So I, I encourage you not just to review your stories, but also your imagery. These stories are important not just to enable people to feel inspired but also to help them tell the story of their experiences and bragging rights, um, being able to say that they've done something is really important and helping them have bragging rights by telling our stories well is a huge plus. So how do we build a compelling story? We um, have here one simple outline that might be helpful for you. Um, if you find that you need extra help because this isn't really something that's always very easy to get to, we suggest you look at our enablement partnership list which is available online on our website to find um, an individual or organisation can, who can actually run a workshop with you and help build your story. So our framework um, has three key components of it, the why part, which is the heart and the soul of the matter. You know, what is, why is this special and unique? Then the what, which is what people actually do, um, what have you got on offer? And then the how, how to participate. 
often we actually begin and end at the what, what we have, but really you are letting yourselves down if you don't elevate your story into the why. And the way to get to that, very simply, is to continue asking why. Why does that matter? Why is that important? What does and how do people experience it? So if you are running a workshop either internally with yourselves or with people in your region or with an expert, these are some questions that you can ask. Why is it special? What is it about this that is unique? What does it enable you to do? What experience does that leave you with? Why is it special and unique and compelling? And it's different because if it hasn't got to an emotional platform, um, you probably are not quite there yet. So keep asking why. Why is it special? Why is that unique? Um, and what experience does that give people and enable them to do? To get to the what, um, it is again, what is challenging? What's the essence? What can you do? What is special? and why is this a must do? It is a must do because, particularly for Chinese, being able to set things apart um, is really important to um, being able to tell the story and enjoy the experience. And then the third level is how. How does your business help them achieve it? Um, what's the mechanism, the channel? How do you get involved? What do you provide for them? What do you, what, how do you give them confidence and safety? What are the options? How do you go about actually participating and becoming involved? Um, at this level, things like um, specialist equipment, um, guidance, help, certificates, a way of learning can really make a difference. Once you've got your story sorted out, it becomes like a compass and it underpins everything and guides the way. It will be your navigation to imagery development, to further product development and storytelling. We've got some brief examples here um, of different stories which we have um, developed um, for, and um, illustrate um, how you can use why storytelling. So we've got two very similar experiences um, up on the mountains. One is the top one about access to remote locations and terrain, and the other is described as sleeping under the stars and waking up with giants. The Minaret Station example is truly evocative and quite inspiring, and a statement like that um, really starts to put this experience on the must-do wish list. Stories can also be told through images, and this image that we saw earlier is um, one that a visitor has taken at the 12 Mile Delta Camp, which you can see linked there um, on the, it's a camp on the shores of Lake Wakatipu. The story on the left is totally evocative and inspiring, and um, enables us to tell an engaging story. Just review and make sure that you do have a variety of, of um, imagery, that some of it is picture postcard, but perhaps others is much more um, visceral, intense and up personal. Um, out of interest, the 12 mile Delta Camp here is geolocated and when this person took this, um, the geolocation details came up on the post. You click on that and it's linked then straight through to the website. Um, or you can look it up and do a search. For details on how to geolocate to make sure any images that our visitors take are linked to you, um, go to our geolocation module. You need to be geolocated on Google um, geolocation as well as Foursquare, which is the one that is um, able to be used in China. So you need both. So a couple of examples here, and if you want more, do go to the website. So an example is um, Earth and Sky, um, which is the um, viewing of the night sky. Discover and or be immersed in the universe as few can in one of the darkest, clearest and purest places on Earth in the International Dark Sky Reserve. So it starts to get um, quite emotional. And the treehouse at Kaikoura, a triumph of imagination, architectural design and nature. So really evocative um, ways of communicating. A fast checklist if you're looking at your storytelling um, and I definitely recommend that you do an audit. 
So not just stories of your business, but telling seasonal stories is particularly important if you want to attract visitors outside your main peak times and even seasonal demand. When you're telling seasonal stories, it's very important that you do so within the context of where our visitors are coming from. If you're interested in more information on seasonal development and position uh, proposition development, we have a seasonal development module. Um, I suggest you go and visit that. But the main thing here is make sure that you have um, a, an experience and a promise of something different in each of the uh, seasons um, and months of the year. An example from Taupo, um, what it's like in summer and in winter, Generally you can do a mixture of those things all year round but um, it, off, it reflects something that um, is quite special about this place at any time. Again, having uh, particularly regions, having a, a seasonal plan is important and that that is communicated in some way on your seasonal uh, regional website. Just a reminder that actually for our visitors, and particularly the Chinese, our se um, shoulder seasons and the drama, um, particularly of the colour in New Zealand at those times, is very, very attractive. Images and storytelling. When we have a, a group of people who many don't speak English well, um, images become even more important. In the free independent traveller group, generally there will be one person who speaks English quite well, but certainly the whole group won't. And when they're looking to um, be inspired and develop their itinerary before coming to New Zealand, a great image can be enough to actually create a must-do um, heart of a, an itinerary build. A picture tells a thousand words. These are generally um, visitor taken photos and you can see the way and the style of Chinese photography is very personal. You can imagine being in those shots. It is also quite creative and artistic and um, certainly looking for those sorts of images to be captivated um, when they are looking online. Certainly, um, Tourism New Zealand also have a great library of examples of what works and what doesn't work, and the photograph on the right comes from that library. Very distinctly, New Zealand snow-capped mountains and layers of experience in between with um, an experience that looks easy. The one on the left is two-staged. Um, it's very third person. It doesn't look real. So some image direction. Keep it fresh, creative and artistic. Avoid images that are too empty, dark or shadowed. Engage the viewer um, and have people, not necessarily Chinese, um, but um, people doing things and enjoying themselves. And avoid stage promo style imagery. Again, very iconic um, Tourism New Zealand images that work well. And um, some others that actually um, also are really enjoyed because they are distinctive, different um, and uh, reflect a fabulous natural environment. Some more images are uh, taken by our visitors and again very um, involving and very one-to-one. Um, -one. So for storytelling um, and developing your storytelling plan, um, this module works um, to build up um, part of the Lean Canvas uh, planning tool and it's around proposition and story development. So once you've got your story sorted out, it comes really here in the heart of your planning. I suggest that you go through and actually work through together or with other people your storytelling to make sure that you've got to the heart and the soul of the matter. And you can use this framework and insert it into your business planning. Um, also, I suggest that you develop a monthly plan on a page, which is around what your seasonal story and offer is going to be and link that through imagery and um, targeting and also product. So congratulations, you've learnt at a very fast pace about storytelling. If you're particularly interested in this, go back, visit the module um, and the report and good luck. For additional resources, not just our NZC and Tourism, but we also have um, a link there to uh, the Lean Canvas and also our enablement partnership list is on that site as well.